My name is Tamsin Vine. I'm the Group Director of Learning and Development for Sodexo. So I look after the development of our 460,000 employees from the senior leaders down to our frontline staff on site. Sodexo is probably the biggest unknown company in the world, you know. Um, so we are 460,000 employees in 72 different countries um, and we provide over 100 services. So pretty diverse organization. Everything from food through to security through to um, facilities management and technical services. So. A very broad and diverse organization. We're living through a very interesting time, everybody, whether it be people who are developing consumer products or whether it be teams like mine who are working on, on kind of learning and development. You know, um, 10 years ago, we were very much a, a function that took our understand, our, you know, our roadmap from the business needs and then we controlled that end to end delivery uh, all the way through to who participated and, and whether they'd actually been. Now today we can't do that. So just as you probably, you know, you use your you use your iPhone to tell you how to put up a shelf at home, right? Every single one of my employees at Sodexo is a consumer and they have a different need. So we need to make sure that we're giving them control, we're giving them ownership of how they develop. Um, and therefore we have to really open up the ecosystem and create a very different dialogue um, with our employees. So it's, it's a very big shift. It requires, you know, different roles in the team. We need roles that focus on user experience. We need to make shifts in terms of how do we coach and support our subject matter experts. So it's, it's a very different world, I think, that we're moving into. So in terms of our learning strategy, how do we provide our end users with ownership for their own development? So to do that, we need to make sure that we're building uh, a real self-serve uh, kind of core capability uh, library. We're an organization with incredibly strong values, um, and that's, that's very important for us in terms of how we serve our clients and consumers. So how do we make sure that our, our culture, our strategy, continue to align, continue to deliver growth? So for us, the choice of technology partners is very important. So, you know, it is a, an ecosystem that's becoming more complex, whether that be looking at authoring tools, whether that be space repetition tools, but also the learning management platform. Um, and Cornerstone for us is, is, is important, and it's actually one of our sole global systems from an HR point of view, so it's, it's pretty important. Um, we hadn't invested a lot in learning experience for many, many years, so I now have somebody in my team and that is their job. They are focused on user experience, and so working with the Cornerstone teams really to say, what's our roadmap? So we have the Cornerstone roadmap, how do we take that and think about how we modernize the experience internally? So looking at playlists, social ratings, space repetition, uh, all of those good things that are coming out of the roadmap.